are moving and also we are giving God the food and the praise angelic food as we've heard in Isaiah chapter 6 uh, 1 of 4 as we have read God the Holy Spirit moved in this man and it says that the seraphim they cried holy 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 one time holy two times and holy three times so that means holy in the morning holy in the afternoon holy in the night three times why we feeding th why three times because we are actually feeding God amen we are angels we worship we feed him the angels feed him with worship worship in the morning worship in the afternoon and worship in the night so God is actually eating he needs food that's the altar amen so why is everybody why is God eating that will remain a mystery human beings they don't eat poison when they eat poison they would automatically die so human beings cannot eat poison unless you are built in another mechanism like what in the Bible says in Mark chapter 16 verse 18 they will drink poison they will eat poisonous food and they will not die unless you are made that way in your move then you cannot die when you eat poison any spiritual witchcraft any poison any food poisoning any attack from the devil unless you are made in eyes in in mark chapter 11 16 verse 18 then you cannot die amen mark 16 18 you pick up snakes they will not bite you you drink poisonous drink you cannot die you eat poisonous food you will not die they will not no not ever you cannot be defeated why because he that man is made in revelation turn to the somebody he's made in revelation made in revelation that is why so many of you your dreams your visions your mind your your breakthrough your next level you see them in the spirit realm in revelation you cannot live in revelation on the earthly realm you haven't brought it out you haven't think about you haven't moved it out you haven't unpacked it and also being ushered it into the world because we are made in revelation tend to that somebody made in revelation made through revelation come on somebody made through revelation mark 16 18 you will drink poisonous drink you will eat poisonous food you will pick up snakes they will not bite you and you will not die you will not die you will not die every attack from the devil every attack that you're facing right now every move every backstabbing every witchcraft every enchantment every chant everything that try to take you down the reason why you cannot die because you are made through revelation <coughs> somebody say i receive that's how you're made that's how your body your eyes your pancreas your livers that's how you're made up everything about you is revelation that your heartbeat your blood is how you circulate everything about your kidney everything about your nerve system everything about your brain everything about the frontal part the back part the light part everything about your ears everything about your saliva everything about your teeth is made of revelation in mark chapter 16 verse 18 in jesus name we move in revelation you are made in revelation unless you are made through the revelation you cannot die you cannot die you cannot die that's the word that's a word some of you you will not be defeated you will not be taken down you can't die you can't afford to die because you are made through that revelation in the name of jesus that is why you cannot be evicted. That is why you cannot be chased out. That is why you cannot be. Yeah, because you are made through the revelation. That is why your pay grade will go up. That is why the, yes, the increase of payment. That is why the increase of a pay package. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Because you are made through revelation. Hallelujah. That's how we move. 
You are feeding God. This is what's very important. Because we are in occupation mode. We occupy. We occupy. You take up space. You take up business. You climb up business arena. You move in the business mountain. This is very much needed. Because in the house, you have to encounter. You have to know. You have to know how God operates. You have to know. That's your family meeting. That's your prayer. You are feeding angels who in turn feed God. Hallelujah. Because in this next level of occupation, in climbing business mountain, you need revelation. You walk in your boss, revelation. You walk in your office, you are made through revelation. You walk and then you sit in the deals, in the boardrooms, highways, ways, every sales, every market that you've done. You're not just an ordinary person. You are made through revelation. Kariabo soka mandare Rikiabo soka. Because in your house, you have also God and also teach you. And you have been feeding God. And you walk out from your house. You got in the car. You got in the bus. You got in the taxi. You went for a shopping. And you made through the walking aisles. You are made through revelation. Hallelujah.
feed the angels. I will feed God my morning prayer, my afternoon prayer, my night prayers. I will worship him in truth and in spirit. And this is what will happen to me. As I walk out, as I do my business, I am a walking revelation. Turn to your partner. I am no longer a human being. Because when I eat poisonous food, come on somebody, when I drink poisonous drink, I will not die. I defy any human attack. Human, humanity, I defy all those. In the name of Jesus, because I am a walking revelation. Now if you're married and somebody, your partner gets it, you are married to a revelation. Hey, somebody, I married a revelation. You didn't just marry that woman. You didn't marry that man. You married a revelation. Because that man learned to attract angels and attract God and feed God with his worship. Hallelujah. And when he comes out from the closet, you meet Mr. Revelation. Hallelujah. I am Saul. Come on. Of the... <laughs> I'm a salt. I don't see any revelation standing here. <laughs> Come on. One, two, one, two. <laughs> flow, flow, all it. Yeah. There's so many things happen in the spirit realm. So many things are happening in the spirit, spirit realm. Spiritual realm, there's so many activities. Your realm on earth, dull, boring. Too much, too much, too much, too much. Na, 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 yeah, everything. Too much. Hey, 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 you're a soul of the earth. Come on, one, two, three, four. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Everybody is made according to the mechanism that they have been made of. Hallelujah. And if you are made in the mechanism of revelation, come on somebody. Uh, you can defy anything. You can move against anything. Come on let somebody say, I receive it. In Jesus name. One, two, three. some people they say I can eat fish I can eat ro ro come on I can eat that when this one is around come on somebody I can eat listen listen I can eat shark I can eat shark why because I'm from that province where province we don't eat shark you know that's a whole mechanism come on you have been feeding God and feeding angels so now you are made up in a different mechanism Revelation! We are so! to your partner said God declare himself God shout it out God declared himself God the Israelite didn't declare him God no no he himself say I am the great I am so if God declare himself God listen he is the object of our worship amen tell to that somebody he's the object of my worship and shout out to your partner said partner man cannot live on bread alone but from every word that comes from God himself he is the one who declare himself God he don't need our money he don't need our bus he don't need our car he don't need nothing he is God Hallelujah. So how do you attract him? You attract him by feeding him with worship. And this is how you receive from God. Watch, 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 watch. You receive from God through revelation. Come on, come on. You're going through a situation. You are sick. But when you pray, God, this and this, and God reveals to you. That's how he's speaking to you. And what he shows you, that's who you are. And you walk that. Walk it. Believe it. Hallelujah. That's who you are. 
That's why you never mind the lingering pain. Never mind the body aches. Walk the revelation that God is showing you. Hallelujah. One, two, three, four. gives you revelation that's how you know God through revelation come on come on come on you don't just know God because you are a Christian you are a good Christian you give your tithe revelation turn to your partner revelation listen revelation builds worship come on come on turn to that somebody revelation builds worship come on the more you worship him God appears the more you worship him, God appears. The more you worship him, God appears. And when he appears, he's real. I'm the light of the earth. Come on. How can I worship God? How can you worship the God you do not know? That's why so many people, why are they worshiping like that? So many people say, why are they kaila like that? So many people, why are they dancing like that? They don't just dance, they don't just shout. Revelation. Hallelujah. Because God appeared to them in revelation. And that revelation builds worship. Hallelujah. And they now worship the God they know. Hallelujah. Some people said, I, well, I'm, I'm, I'm in this church because my father was in this church. My great-grandfather was in the church. And I'm, I'm saying to you, revelation, move in revelation. Because your father's church will not save you. Come on. Come on. It's revelation whom you will know God more. Revelation. Build your worship to God. I am the light of the world. Come on. I just wish we all see in the spirit realm so that when you see a somebody jumping and shouting in the spirit then you'll understand what you're talking about I just wish I just Lord just open the eyes no wonder why the prophet said, Lord, open the eyes of my servant. Just let him see why I'm moving in this realm. Just let him see why I'm operating like this. And God opened his see angels all around. Hallelujah. Turn to your partner, Revelation. No church doctrine, no nothing. Revelation. I'm the light of the world. <laughs> That's why during the persecution time of the first church, some of them, you no, know, their eyes were plucked out from their, their eyes, their eyeballs have been plucked out from their eyes. You know? But when they were put back in prison, 
their worship was not like before. Why? They can just take out the eye. They cannot see physically, but they see in the spirit. Come on, people. Come on. Because they are seeing their God. They may be blind, but they see revelation and the light of the world. God dwells, God dwells, God dwells, God dwells in the praise and worship of his people. You wanted God tonight and every night and every other night? Praise, worship. He's not Kaiviti. He's not from your clan. He's not your grandfather. God is not your grandmama. God is God. He is alive. I'm the light of the world. <laughs> you know, one day you'll be preaching, one day you'll be from up here. You will, you will tell as you move in the spirit, you will know. He who stands among you, who stands with you, is really praise and worshiping from inside. And I see God. You see a movement in the spirit realm. You see a mighty gushing wind. When Lou is praising God, I see fire coming upon, dancing. When another one, like there's somebody sitting at the back, okay, praising God at the back, jumping, I see wind moving. There's different manner, manifestation, elements. That's what's happening in the spirit realm. Right now on the other realm, you just see you. You just see you. But in the spiritual realm, as those who attracts God through real worship and real praise, Hark! Elements move! Electricity move! Fire move! They are being attracted through that praise and worship! That's what happened! And the light! Hallelujah. Just give a big hand of clapping unto the Lord. The more you know God, the more he will speak to you. The more he speaks to you, the more he will reveal himself to you. The more he reveals himself to you, the more he appears to you. The more he appears to you, this is what happens. Your worship will grow. Your worship will mature. As soon as you enter a place of worship, you don't need their songs. You don't need their instrument. You don't need their prayers. When I'm walking up, when you mature, 
You don't need nobody here. You know what? <laughs> now the seraphim, listen, the seraphim cannot worship God like before. Why? Because he's already sent his son. His son came through the second realm and the third realm and is now on the earth realm and he brought with him the kingdom, the package. So the worship of the seraphim is in part in heaven and they need another part of them on earth. Come on somebody. That is why the seraphim, in order for them to inhibit our praise, he will need human capacity. He will need you. You need this level to occupy the business world. Come on, somebody. When you walk in here, I don't need your prayer. I don't need their music. Why? Because I'm a walking seraphim. Come on. The instrument, the songs, everything is in me. Come on. I don't need man's praises. I don't need your okay. I don't need your grant. I don't need my it's in you. You walk in with him. Power pack in you. I'm the light of the world. After this, we'll sing, I live to dominate. Amen? We feed him. We feed him. We feed God. We feed the angels through our worship. Now, 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 listen. Listen and listen to me well in the Holy Ghost. Listen. And that same Jesus, the son of the limitless God, was sent on earth. And he made a statement. It's in John chapter 4, verse 21. For God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. What I'm just sharing with you and we were all jumping on was the spirit part. Now I'm going to touch on the truth part. That's the earth realm part. That's the Nandi part. That's the sewer part. That's the 37 Solomon Street part to walk in truth. That's my house, my, yes, your territory, your office. You have to walk in truth. Amen? Spirit realm, God is open. You move in revelation. In order to dominate, in order to excel in your business, in your career, now we're moving in that, you need the truth on earth. Turn to your partner, truth on earth. So what is worship God in spirit? It simply means you have to be spirit led. Come on. Come on. You can walk in Tanwa International Hotel with full of your garbage. You will get your garbage back. The angels will throw it back to you. And what happened on your Monday? Your Monday will be 50% garbage. Tuesday will be 60% garbage. Come on. Garbage attacks garbage. Hallelujah. But if you walk in here spirit led, you're moving in. I don't need nobody here to lift up my worship. Because I walk with a seraphim. Everything is in here. I shout, I chant, anything that I do. Amen. And this is the outcome of a God that lives in you. is truth. Turn to your partner. Truth. In Acts chapter 5 states the mystery of truth. Ananias and Sapphira. 
The word of God says they lied to the Holy Ghost. Come on, come on. Turn to your partner, turn to your partner. Lied to the Holy Ghost. They didn't lie to the apostles and the prophets. They lied to the Holy Ghost. Thank you, media team. Okay? The Satan has filled thine heart to lie in the Holy Ghost. Okay? They were supposed, say for example, they sold their property and say for example it was $10,000 worth. And they told the apostle we are going to get the full amount of the piece of the real estate that I'm going to sell and we're going to bring it to you. But they did mention that 10 grand to Peter and the apostle. They did the deal. They received 10,000 and they pocket 1,000 and they took 9,000. That's the truth part. A father or a mother gave $50 to a son or a daughter to go and buy. Keep a $10 worth product. And when she or she comes back, the change is only $20. Now listen, listen, and listen to me well in the Holy Ghost. The truth part is very important on earth. We move in the spiritual realm so much, the truth is not manifested. And God said, this God, the all-existent one, who don't need your approval to be God, he is worship. Listen, listen, listen. Spirit, truth. It's like a bird with two wings. Yeah. The spirit cannot fly properly. It also needs the other wing, the truth. For they lied to the Holy Ghost. Turn to your partner. They lied to the Holy Ghost. And Peter said, Satan, listen, has filled your heart to lie to God. And what happened? They both fell dead. Why? Because they did not give the full amount. In the church circle, Sangai Wong and the truth. Lift your hand. The truth wala nga Sangai Wong. Spirit is just the truth. Hallelujah. Tell your partner the truth. Worship cannot be completed if not the truth is not included. Hallelujah. Because with truth you dominate on the earth realm. If you are truthful in your bookkeeping, God will add more. Not only in terms of finances, in terms of wisdom deeper understanding. If you are truthful in your tithing, God will open windows of heaven. If you are truthful in your seeds, God will give you more. Hallelujah. Turn to your partner. Sangha Wong and the truth. It's this. If we are not careful, it can divide a church. Okay? It can divide a ministry. It can divide a movement shred it into pieces because of the truth part. Amen. You give somebody money and he doesn't honor. You give somebody property doesn't honor. He never honor. Why? They are not honoring men. They are not only honoring men. They are not honoring the Holy Ghost. Turn to your partner. Apostle hate silence. <laughs> So in order to attack God and attack angels, spirit truth. Come on. I'm the light of the world. Come on. I'm the light of the world. Nobody wants to dance with me. Huh? Brother, the truth kick hurts. Come on. Come on. Let's kick it. Come on. I'm the light. Come on. Yeah. Ah. Come 
Come on. Come on. <laughs> we are here to dominate. We will only dominate if truth is included. Hallelujah. Listen, I say this in Fiji, I receive you and I've lost back to Golomilu. Come on. Let's admit it. Just just move around. Just move around. Just move around. Yeah. Surely there is no enchantment against me. No divination against me. I am covered. Yeah. Dominate is to enter marketplace. Dominate is to do business. You serve this mighty God and you're afraid to go to the bank. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there are mechanisms, strategies, and people are already here. Tell your partner, people are already here. We are here to dominate. Hey, hey. Hey. In the earth realm, we need this. Woo, woo. Come on. We need this to pay this room. Holy, holy people, they said, I'm not here for money. Lasso. Fake. You need money. Come on, you need money. And money can only be sustained through truth. Come on, people. Come on, people. Truth in your bookkeeping. Truth in your ledgers. Truth in your accounts. Truth, come on. And truthful to you, how you use the money. You use it on junk. You got no bookkeeping at all. I live to dominate. Come on. why God said that the son of God you know why he said it woman no longer will be in Jerusalem or even in Samaria or in that mountain he's saying God is spirit worship in the spirit and also that's it why did he say that because this boy listen will worship him God in spirit and truth he is a temple of God walking in the business community. Why is that? We, that's a Korean fellow just came and said, why is it that this is a Christian country? We know in South Korea. But we hardly see business, Christians in business. For me, three years ago was a challenge. Amen? So I, well, I need to change my message. He's a walking temple. He has everything in him. But he needs the truth. Truth to upgrade his life, truth to upgrade his mind, and knowledge is power. Skills is power. Technology is power. That will be instilled in him. Then he is really a walking revelation. I live to dominate. 
<laughs> you know why there's so many th divination and chapmen start taking our finances? No truth. Okay? I say this, no truth. Our, our people from now, they have little truth. But some, no truth, sir. Tell you, no truth, sir. Amen. We need to be truthful. As the driver of my taxi in Lambasa say, I'm truthing, I'm truthing. Turn to your partner and say, I'm truthing, I'm truthing. And if you dominate me. I didn't know why Jesus said he came from heaven. Come on. Tell your partner he came from heaven. Yeah. And he said, spirit and in. Come on. Spirit and in. He said, that's the new deal of worship now, woman. Amen. And he said, I am telling you what I see done in heaven. I was in heaven from the beginning. And I saw great men of God on earth praying to my father. And I see them coming to their altar. And I see them with their giving. That's giving an altar. Prayer and altar. Prayer and worship. Giving and prayer. Giving and worship. That is what I see in heaven. Now I am telling you. Highly favored, come on. Highly favored, highly favored, highly favored, highly favored. In Jesus' name. Come on, come on. Highly favored. In other words, he was saying, your worship is only concluded by your giving. The conclusion of your worship is giving. Turn to that somebody, the conclusion of your worship is giving. You don't give to men. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I plant my seed daily. And I plant my seed in American dollars daily. Why? My conclusion of my worship revelation that I receive is my offering. Turn to that somebody. The conclusion of your worship is your giving. I'm not saying this for you to give to a left half, those who are listening. I'm not saying this, I need your money. I'm not saying this because I need everything from you, no. So many people take this preaching in a wrong way. I am telling you what I'm doing. It's not theoretical. Hallelujah. And I plant my seed in hundred dollars, in, in, sorry, not amount, in American dollars. Every day. Why? Because I want you to dominate. Every seed that was planted was for you also. Every seed that I received coming into my account, 
I make sure I did the conversion rate and I plant. Because you need your breakthrough. You need your next level. You need your new dimension. If you can't get breakthrough in the spirit, in the physical realm, in the, in the spiritual, you see what I'm seeing every day. Because I'm covered. My covering is a prophet. My cover who covers me is a, one of the major prophets. That's why I feed my cover. I plan daily. That's apart from what he says. In any prophetic school he said, or anything he said, ah, uh, those who are my sons, okay, you can give yesterday. I planned it. I said, okay, this is the money left. This is what you're going to do. This is what you're going to do. Okay, tomorrow, Sarah chose around. And you have another school and a private periscope of private, or private, you know, your, your Facebook message. It says, come in. My sons, this and so and so, I need five people to plant $66. This is just in house. But I've already planted yesterday and I made a memo. No, this is our budget. You know what I did? I never wait for conviction. I did obedience without conviction. I just give. Why? Because I obey my cover. I honor the grace of the apostolic and the prophetic grace in his life. Tell to that somebody, the truth partners are able. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is our new friend? Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much in the church. Amen. Tell your partner, enough is enough. Sarah Madala, too spiritual. You move in revelation, the earth part shambles. No order, disorganized. No boundary, bound. No, come on, somebody. Somebody say, I, I receive, I receive. God is now realigning, refocusing. He's putting fences around you. Somebody once wrote to me and said this and that, and I said, yes. As a father, I'm responsible for this too. For my son and my daughter and my wife. But in the ministry, I'm all responsible for you guys, your soul, because I'll be answerable to God. That's why I pray for you. That's why I plant seeds for you. So that we can go together, move one footstep, one heartbeat, moving together. Because we have to, we are in the frontline battlefield in occupation. Praise the Lord. Turn to your partner. Praise the Lord. And the devil doesn't want you to worship. Turn to your partner. The devil doesn't want you to worship. Oh, Kiria Zanga Kanka Ziebo. Rekia bong zankalia bokande. Riamokonda rakazi kenda bande. Riankazi kabo. The devil does not want you to worship. In your prayer time, he'll attack your knee. Some of you are sick right now. He doesn't want your next level. Because you are a threat to him. Come on, somebody. Ah. Somebody here mourning a death, don't mourn. Don't mourn. Thank God. Huh? Thank God. There's no mourning. Thank God. Hey! How dare you mourn? It's your memory that laps into that time zone and time space. You are here now. I'm talking because God wants you to worship and the devil hates you when you worship. You know what he will do? Turn to your partner. You know what he will do? He will steal your car. Come on. Come on. He will wreck your worship time. He will wreck your washing machine. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He will steal your money. Come on. Come on. He will make your wife and your child sick. Come on. Come on. Come on, he will tell you, you will tell your child, I can't do maths, I cannot make it. Come on, 
Come on, the devil, the devil doesn't want you to worship. And this is what the devil wants you to think. Come on. He wants you to think that. Come on. Tell that somebody. The devil wants you to complain. Hello, 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 hello. The devil wants you to be unhappy. Come on, come on. The devil wants you to be depressed. Come on, somebody. The devil wants your mind congested, congested. Also, 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 also. Tell your partner. Also, 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 also. The devil wants you to think of your enemy every day, every day, every day. Come on. The devil, the devil wants you to think of the, of the Lele and the Kachi and the who offended you so many years ago. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. The devil wants you to think of the haters. Ho, oh, oh. ho. The devil wants you to think of those who betray you. Come on. The devil even wants to think you how oh, you lost your job. You already lost it, but you still want to think about it. That's the devil. That's the devil. Why? He wants to steal your worship. Because he knows with your worship, you will be a different man and a different woman. Your makeup will be different. Hallelujah. Because he knows the only time and the only way you bring God down is through your worship. Chris, uh, can you put up Job chapter 1? Job chapter 1. I live to dominate. Come on. I live to dominate. Sing it again. Two, three. I live to dominate. That's one. Come on, come on, come on. That's what I saw in the spirit. Come on. I, hold on, hold on, hold on. One, two, three. That's what I saw in the spirit. That's what I saw in the spirit. I want you to remember what I did. You see my big stomach bounding? I want you to not ever forget. Because that's how some of you are going to walk in the spirit realm. That's how some of you are going to walk in the earthly realm. Your business, your career, everything is about to take off now. Come on, somebody. Uh, read two, three. Okay, let me read in, this, in, the, in, the, in the modern term. Amen? He has $700,000 in his Swiss bank account. He has $300,000 in his... Oh, you guys get it now. In the stock market. He had $500,000. Come on. Come on. Now you're talking. Hallelujah. Listen, he lost that all in a day. Bankruptcy. And of us, you just lost one cent or two cents. You want to do a fight at all. Who took that ten dollar? My God today. He's in total uh, not only devaluation, this is something happened with this. Come on. Okay? Fight two, no longer many people are gonna send the five cents. My God. Don't go to Master Kin Kini. New, new. <laughs> Hallelujah. Verse 20. Verse 20. Oh, sorry. Keep on, keep on. Slow it down. Right. Read. Two, three. And it was so. Thus did Job 
that continually is every day. That's the secret I got from seeding every day. You plant your seed every day. How many sons he had? 16 sons, 16 bulls, and 16 sheep. 16 daily. In, cur in case they cursed God. Come on. I'll go deeper in a minute. In case they curse God and they sin. Hallelujah. Ah, that is why he did this daily. He planted seed every day. You know what? My covering, the prophet, I call him my papa. You know how much he planted every day? $1,000 American. Cardia Bosaki. 31 days in a month that is 31,000 American he just called to build his church only three givers they gave he took care of the whole half a million or more than half a million of that property why? because continually he gives because he has received from the Lord he is a prophet he moves in dimensions but on the earth realm, he completes it by giving. K, 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 k. And man opened doors for him. If you are stuck in a business, you're stuck in, you need a favor of another man. So, he's stuck. I didn't know when I came in. My took Enter. He's in his next level. You need another. You need men to open door for you. You need another human being to set the platform for you to your stage. Ah, thank you, Tux. Now, verse six. Now, the day came before the Lord those sons of God are angels come on right what was the conversation in heaven go down I'm ending tell your partner he's ending right then the Lord said to Satan Satan was among those angels too hey lock me be then Satan answered the Lord I've been going to and fro the earth Walking up and down in it. And the Lord said, boastfully, You seen my servant in the land of Uz? Have you ever gone to Wangandra? Have you ever gone to Subabo village? On your to and fro. Come on. Have you ever gone to Apalami? Come on. Have you ever gone to Bountiful? Hey, you guys are so. Have you ever been to Malawai? Do you, have you ever walked past Petra Industry? Ooh. Come on. Have you ever walked? There's a, there's a white vehicle. It's a succeed model, IJ. Come on. Have you been to the airport? You can see one of my servants named Poggi. Highly favored. Highly favored. That's a conversation in heaven. Have you seen? Why are you recognized? Because of the spiritual realm and the truth realm. Job did that. And he's recognizing him. He got the attention of God. Ah. Amen. And he said, yeah. There's none like him in all the earth. There's none like him. In, you know his family? There's none like him. <laughs> he is an upright man. Perfect. Fear God. He just hates evil. That evil in Hebrew... This is a Hebrew word for evil. Is Ra. R-A. Amen? Has nothing to do with Satan. Nothing to do with Lucifer or the devil or Ndakwanga or Ndakwanga or Ndenge. It's nothing. It just has to do with bad. Just being bad. He hates bad stuff. 
Then Satan said, Oi, he just fear you because you are protecting him. Lift, he'll curse you. Carry on. See the hedge in the house? And he said, all right. I am going to lift the hedge. Turned to the partner and said, God is about to lift his hedge out from me. And allow the devil to come in. Hey, shout it out. Hallelujah. That's promotion for you. Come on. You need the devil for the next level. Hey. <laughs> you know how the devil comes in? You know that he's in? It's another D. Debt. Debt. Then you know the devil is in. I have to get out from this to another level. Take me to another level. Say that. Hallelujah. Turn to your partner. Go on, go on, go on down. Okay? Then Satan, yes, take from him, lost thy power upon himself. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Get down. Next slide. And there was a day his sons were drinking. Go down. Write down. Now, verse 20. He has received. Listen, listen. Bad, evil news. Negative news. Verse 22, 3. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can I have this? Yeah. So, say, for example, this is his mental. famous and now he's the news of it. This is going out. <laughs> and he shaved his head like me. Huh? That's what he did. And he fell on the ground. What did he do? Kandaya Sakanda. He did not complain because he understood how to bring God down. Only through worship, nothing else. He understands, he knows that the God I serve in spite of all the bank seizures and credit card seizures and everything, my fame has diminished. I don't want to lose my worship. I will worship him. Because I understand that he dwells in the praise of my worship. The devil knows how to get worship out of a man. He took his cars, he took his money, he took his payment of the, of the loan. But he never focused on that. He focused on God. Because through his worship, the later part of his life became more fruitful than the former. The devil is very smart. That's why the devil said, Listen, if you go up, did Job worship you for nothing? Hmm? He was just worshiping you because you were blessing him. Take out the hedge, you'll see, he'll curse you. Now God has taken the hedge. This guy never complained. 
He rented his clothes. Why? That's the old clothes he rented out because he needs the Messiah's clothes. His humility, not pride. And he bowed and he lay in place. Come on, come on. Come on, run. Thief. Stand. Lie flat on the floor. Flat on the floor. Face down. No, no, no. Yeah. Both. Yeah, lie. Ulumu. Kisibana. You see this? He lay face down. That's what the Bible says. On the ground. He was lying on the ground when he said this word. Naked I came out from my mother's womb and naked shall I return. The Lord gives and the Lord had taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He was singing face down on the ground. In other words, he was telling the soil in which cows came from soil. Huh? Oxes came from soil. Huh? The house that were built, burned down. Those trees came from soil. Huh? They came from dust. Huh? Animals that returned to dust. Huh? He was speaking to the dust and he said, You think you're going to take away my worship? You dust like me. For naked I came. I didn't come with you in my mother's house. My mother's womb. I came alone. And how did I come? I come naked. I brought nothing. But through my worship, I occupy us. And I'm not going to lose the very secret and the mystery of my wealth, which is worship. He should have complained. You just lost 10 grand. This guy lost hundreds of thousands of millions. And he said, naked I came from my mother's womb. Naked shall I return. Huh? The Lord gave. Now the Lord. Why do you worry when you lose your money? He has taken it away and he'll give it back. My daughter was asking, Dad, how did you handle this? How did you handle this? Because in this ministry, you're not paid. And you move. There's no budget way back then. No money in the bank account. How did you do this? Simple answer I just gave them. The mind. God told me, told me something. I saw in Revelation. This is about to happen. And I conditioned my mind. And I think in advance. In how I will solve that problem. So the problem solving was futuristic. So when that happened, you don't panic. The Lord gave. Now the Lord, the master, who do not need your worship, who do not need your, your money, he took it away from Job. Listen, listen. Satan did not. It was the authorization from God. He who gives authorization has a power. See, look, Job understands that. He didn't even know the conversation in heaven. Come on. And he knows once he is in debt, it is the Lord that is enthroned in his worship will come back to him and give him a formula. Come on. Of the cow, the seven cows. Come on. Has been swollen. He gave him the Joseph formula in how he will ride up in the business. This, listen, listen. He was known all over again. There are seven mountains to climb, only on the business mountain. Go. Most pastors and teach and pastors they use this scripture, possum scripture, on funerals. But I'm saying that's not a funeral. That's a man of worship who understands that he still needs to feed God. He still needs God. And in spite of bankruptcy, he still has to walk in spirit and in truth. I never lost my praise. <laughs> I never lost a song. Brooklyn Tabernacle sing the song. Never lost his praise. Just walk. That's it. And the day
devil said. Take. The devil said, take the material stuff and see he will not worship you. He knows. When he takes your husband, he takes your wife. He takes your money, he takes your health, he takes your job. You will complain. He wants you to growl at your husband so much. Then what happens? God moved. Instead of receiving that they should have, praise God. We know what he Let's pray and thank God. Because the Lord gave this, and the Lord can take it. Now we're still alive, He will double it. That's the mindset now. Too much, eh? God, it's just too much. Hallelujah. It's too much. Now get ready. Job level, get ready. <laughs> Some of you are about to occupy mountains like never before. <laughs> Some of you will go near death experience. Why? Because God at this level has lifted the hedge. He's allowed the devil just to test you. Come on. Because the, without the devil, there's no next level. Amen? Because you already defeated the next, the last level demons. Now, welcome. Amen? <laughs> They don't know you because your weapon, your secret, our secret is in our worship. Yeah, yeah. Our secret is in our praise. Whatever. Hallelujah. I never lost. <laughs> what? I saw that mess in the Facebook. They defamed and degraded you. I never lost. You're still climbing. You're still moving. Amen. And bless the name of the, the Lord. Hallelujah. Now you see the power of worship. We were taught praise and worship, but we never know the depth part of it. You attract God. Now, for occupation, the Messiah who in heaven came down on earth and said, Ah, ah, ah. those spirits. I want a truth part. Mm hmm. Like Ananias, they sold it for 10 grand, 20 grand, they kept 2 grand and they only gave 32 grand, 36 or 38. That's not truth, so Holy Ghost have to kill them. Point to me, begin from him. Come on, point. Start from him. Then all of us. <laughs> the truth part, once we take all, you know what happened? This movement will boost in such ah, the growth, quantum leap. <laughs> awesome. My God is awesome. Come on. My God is awesome. He can move up mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Hey, I've been forgiven. He's chasing.
how he sang his awesomeness of God talking on the ground. Hey, hey, hey. My God is awesome. Awesome God. Awesome. Just one single complaint. Okay, he sang about this. <laughs> he just said, I'm going to praise God. I'm going to praise God. sacrifice every day he didn't give he, no, he's not a weekly giver tell your partner he's not a weekly giver he's not a monthly giver he's a daily giver why did he give daily God he had access to angelic realm he sees in the spirit the things of the spirit and he gives on the earthly realm hallelujah Turn to your partner, I receive in Jesus' name. I receive in Jesus' name. The power of worship and the words and the power of giving. Every day, every day, every day, every day. Five cents every day. 30, 30, 31 days in a month. Have you there? One dollar, one sangamori every day. Two dollars every day. Amen. How about you giving American currency? Twenty dollars is about forty-six or fifty. Thirty dollars is about seven. Fifty dollars is about ninety or about hundred plus every day. You plant your seed. Amen. I just received one testimony. I prayed for this man, this gentleman. Prayed for him, and said, God told me. Just something in his head. Your pay will be doubled. Okay? Just got a call that he has received double of his pay. That's equivalent to about $50, 900 a day, not a week. A day. Just a word. Why? Because that man understands the power of worship and giving. It attracts heaven. Just imagine $900 Fijian a day. 31 days, there's almost 30 grand Fijian. That's a salary for two weeks for some people. Just turn to your partner. You thought that $900 a week or $900 a, a month, $900 fortnight, a bondonaka. 
But this giver, this tither, this worshiper, God just, just smack it down right on the ground. <laughs> Hallelujah. Turn to your partner said, I believe, I receive. The power, the power of prayer. That's about $500, nearly $500 American, US. Or 400 something American. So 900 plus. Day. Come on, day. <laughs> Hallelujah. What's the song you sing? The one that I matched. I live to dominate. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. Remember that. Some of you are gonna leap the quantum leap. Come on, come on. I live to dominate. Come on, sing it, sing it. I live to dominate. Yeah. Surely there is no enchantment against me. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. All those who receive you, take it with you. <laughs> Once I run like that, somebody will be seated. <laughs> I live to dominate. Hey, surely there is no enchantment against me. No divination against me. I am covered. I live to dominate. I live to dominate. Hey, surely there is no enchantment against me. No divination against me. I am covered. I live favor. I live favor. I favor. Let's sing that again. I'm a city. I'm a city. Build on a high hill. Like a yeast. I am first the world. I am rich. I am prosperous. I am blessed. I'm a city. I'm a city. I'm a city. Build on a high hill. Like a yeast. I am first the world. I am rich. I am prosperous. I am blessed. I'm a city. I'm a city. I'm a city. I'm a city. Build on a high hill. Like a yeast. I am first the world. I am rich. I am prosperous. I am blessed. I'm a city. I'm a city. I'm a city! I'm a city! I'm a city!
time, see that, see that. One more time, one more time. Yeah. 
slide on the cliff the cliff can you write out my slide on the cliff I'm ending here hallelujah and I thank God for the the slide see this there's a there's a there's a view from outer space hallelujah amen can you just put up my slide the, the cliff one is the rock the Petra amen yeah just that I'm ending I'm ending I'm ending now because our time, yeah, time is catching up. Thank you so much, media team and worship team and everybody. And I know that God is blessing someone. God is taking someone. God is favoring someone now. And those who are special, they will be taken care of by God in a unique way. Those who are favored by God, he will take care of you in a very special way those who are favored God just can't get his eyes off you you are the apple in his eyes hallelujah always and all the time that's the cliff from Petras amen I'm ending here from Petras Peter the name Peter is Petras I will now call you the rock Petra Industries. <laughs> From a rolling stones, just the small stones, pebbles, I'm going to turn you into this rock. And in this rock, I will build my church. Come on. Churches are built on that rock. What is a church? In Greek, ecclesia. The definition of ecclesia is just the called out ones. It's a political term of the senate sitting in Greek in the olden days. So politicians sit here, not church people. Church people, they wait for the rapture. Come on. Amen. But the church, they are here to occupy a business. They're here to do business. Hallelujah. Now, the song that we were singing, come on, look at your partner. The song we just sang. <laughs> yeah, the city built on a. Now, that song, it didn't say, you are old, dusty, rusty, corvo town. Huh? Nandi is still a town, Namua is still a town. The word says, quoting from the Bible, you are a city. So cities sit up here, up on the high hills. Like a, yes, that influence the world. You can only influence from up here, not on the small rock. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is where you build a church. That's where businessmen, same feathers, same mind, come on, same people who think alike, they will gather and they flow path. This is where ideas will come in. It will be built on this, no longer the small Petros. Praise the Lord. 
ecclesia. And we're now there. Ecclesia. That not even the gates of hell shall prevail or can prevail. No longer the gate of hell can prevail. No. Why? They know how to feed God and to access angels in their personal relationship with God. And they come out as a revelation. And they say to that mountain, move, and it shall be moved. Sleeping giants bow. Sleeping giants will bow. Come on. Matangali, neither kozaka, bow, they will bow. Sambeto Riba, bow, they will bow. Navatu, bow, they will bow. Because they are revelation. Hallelujah. So where does this church sit? At the gate of hell. At the gates of hell. So the church doesn't belong into a goody goody community. Okay? Oh man. This is not a social club. The church out there in the gates of hell where the business are. Go there. Come on. Where there's a market, go there. You have a product to sell. I told my daughter and I said, why is that your customers, they come right from their house in here? Who paid the taxi fare? Them. Who got in there? Them. Who pay you the money? Them. You go to your customer. Never ever let your customer come to you. Because he has a product to sell. Hallelujah. Touch your brother. Hallelujah. You don't disappoint your customer. Your customer is very important. Because your business has to be customer oriented. Customer comes in first. Turn to your partner. Customer comes in first. You have a product to sell. Come on. Your market is in the gates of hell. <laughs> gates of Hades. You know what that word, the G word for that? The Greek word? G1. The very first strong concordance definition of hates. G1. One. Hates. Hado. You know the triangulation of that? Is one. 108, sorry, and it's one. Alpha. The other side of that. Alpha. That means a left arm. You came in here. You see there's a left arm. Prayer meeting. I took a photo and I asked uh, the head of Ginosko, please, Madam Chair Ginosko, just take a photo. We took a photo as a couple. Why? Avonga Mimbura, not prayer session. Parliament said the session is. Because the church are meeting here. You're not just a church member, you are a businessman, businesswoman, entrepreneur. Yeah, stop. Stop wasting time in your thinking that you are in a church. We designed up the ministry for such a way. Come on. You get this? This is how we design it. So that when you walk from your business, you walk into another company. This is a company. You get this? You walk in another company. So this is where the debrief parliament session. You hear the word from our commanding chief. Come on. Yeah. Our head of state given us a word. Now you take it up and go. Occupy. Do business. Because we have been built on that mountain, on that cliff, which is Petra, 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 Petrus to Petra. So with Petra, this is where you belong. The gates of hell. Ecclesias will meet. There will be one meeting of the Ecclesia tomorrow at 11. While church people go to pray, they meet. Come on, that's church. Okay? They make wise decisions because they guard the gate. <laughs> These are the gates. But this mostly is the gate we are after. Business. Okay? 
we have to unpack this and take it to the marketplace. Hallelujah. Great commission, twofold. One, save soul. Two, discipleship. You have to get out from this building. Tell a partner, you get out from that building. Do something. Do business. <laughs> Occupy. Two, three. Come on. Two, three. Let's occupy. Jesus said, negotiate, trade, make some money before I come and take you back. Hallelujah. Make use of your minstrel gift. We have prophets and prophetess. We have vision. People, have been, How about you use that into the business world? You operate in visions and revelation before you make a deal go in the spirit realm. Come on somebody. <laughs> Exercise them. Lay them out. Trade with them. Come on. Come on. Amen. Ministry is a trade. Merchandise is to be carried. Not in name of ministers of Christ. Not in their own stock from, the, from Christ. Not from the ministers or themselves. But for Christ. For the good of the souls. We are saving souls more in this way than just uh, passing by and bye-bye. Okay? Laborers intelligent. We would we describe the word to mean occupying yourself with the kingdom of God and God's business. Two, three. Come on. HQ, come on. Come on, HQ. To get what? Huh? Authorizations. For what? Come on. For? For? He said this. He gets two HQ for authorization for occupation. Okay? Two, three. Engage. Invest. Do business. Invest in it. Buy in. While I go. That's it. That's a command. You have to do business. You can't miss a week. You have to do it. Tell your partner. You can't miss a week. You can't miss a day. You have to make some money. Oh, sir. Get those assets. Satching well, Tom. Plus. So. At the end of the day, you have to pay something. Need money. Occupy, two, three. Occupy till that means do business. Engage in business. Negotiate till I come. Hey. Now this is what's happening in the church. We have two sets of people in the church. We have the purity level. We have the warrior level. Now there are some people in the church. God just put him in that level. Purity means it is a two. They can't occupy. They're just there. It's good. God made them that way. They are always. They are not that religious. I'm not talking religion. They are just. They're there. Like prophetess Anna in the Bible. She prays daily in the Bible. That's purity level. They're just there. But they're taken care of from home. Okay? Then there's warrior. These are people who go out from the church barrier. Okay? They can go to this. Pray. Warfare prayer. And that and this and that. But listen. Protocon, they are still confined in this building. In order to dominate out here, you need a statesman level. Tend to your partner. Statesman level. How about if we combine the three? Warrior, purity, statesman, all put them into this one arrowhead. We take down the whole business and the whole land in Nandi. Because the purity level, they attack angels. 
the warrior level, they know how to warfare. And statesmen were among them. They negotiate. They sit in boardroom. They do business. They attract investors. They bring in people who knows that art of the deal. That's a whole package. One arrowhead and then we move. Amen. Occupy means to much aggressively into another you can't say occupy in here. Occupy, yes, in here. But you haven't much aggressively into another territory. Hallelujah. With spiritual forces and the purpose of conquest and occupation. Occupation is invasion. If you watch the news lately in Fox News or CNN, or there's a caravan. There's a term caravan that they're using. They march from Honduras, Venezuela, they're in New Mexico. None of those countries can stop them. But the man in the White House said, I'm going to send the U.S. Marines and armies on the border. And if they come near, I'm going to meet them there. Because I'm treating the march not on a humanitarian ground. I'm teaching the march as an invasion into the sovereign state of the United States of America. So that means occupy, you invade. You invade. It begins with an inward mindset. We'll take you out, not only thinking outside the boxes. You think in new boxes and you put your new information into those boxes. Then you have that outward mindset where you can occupy. You are ready to move in and make deals with Pile. You're not afraid. Come on. You're not afraid of Hick. You're not afraid of. You're not afraid of. You're not afraid of Pratap. You're not afraid of Chand. You're not afraid of Fletcher. You're not afraid. Come on. You're not afraid of BSP. You're not afraid. You're not afraid. Why? You're not afraid. Come on. You are not afraid. It's nothing because you know what to do in Jesus name. Hallelujah. And that's not all. That's what he said. Okay? Psalm 18. You have complete and free access to God's kingdom. Hmm. The Petra. Keys to open any and every door. No more barriers between heaven and earth. Earth and heaven. A yes on earth is a yes in heaven. A no on earth is a no in heaven. That's why the devil will come after your money. He will wreck your car. He will even try to wreck your marriage because he wants you to complain. Take worship out from you. Once worship is in the house, I'm here to dominate. In Jesus' name. May you give birth before time. In Jesus' name. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. As we come to the end of our prayer, we thank you for the divine word that you have prepared us. And those who are listening, watching live, they may businessmen, small business, yes, entrepreneurs, Lord. They're thinking of starting their business dreams. Father, may they give birth before time. For the voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth before time. Thank you, Jesus. And I pray for the seeds that fall, that have been yes, sown into the threshing floor. I pray for those who will give later, later in the weeks. Yes. There will be three people here. They will be planting $500 in the, during the week. And the board will just see that $500. 500, 500, 500. That's 1,500. The board will give it to Ginosko. Ginosko, you do the payment. Jesus. And I thank you, Father. I pray that as you catapult them, from this level into another level and into another dimension. We thank you, God. This is our prayer. We honor you and we love you. 
in Jesus wonderful name everybody shout amen 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 thank you so much our prayer and our service is ended our parliament session is ended now the speaker has taken the, not that one but the spiritual one thank you so much turn to your partner saying yeah what a good session we have now we have the ministers okay in your own portfolios come on activate Okay, the parliament have set. Let's go do it. Implement policies. See your permanent secretaries. Okay, see those head of departments. Move in. Do something. Tell a partner, do something. In Jesus' name. Execute. Let your kingdom 